to see if we could become something more. So when they needed us, we could fight the battles. That they never could. Are you guys excited? I am, and do you know what that means? Well, for Civil War, I made Captain America's electromagnetic shield. And it's kind of my number one video on the channel. So, for Infinity War, I think it's time we make his new Wakandan shield. And we get this man a shield. Let's go. Now the tricky part with doing a project like this is until the movie comes out, we don't have that much reference material. We've seen a few glimpses of the shield in some of the trailers and other promotional material, but there's still a chance it might be a bit different in the movie. But we're going to use what we have and see what we can come up with. So follow me and let's start the design. Hurry up. So to start the design, what I've done is I've actually taken a still from the trailer and then I've extracted the shield. I've scaled that to approximately the right size and brought into SOLIDWORKS, which lets me actually draw over top of the picture to get the right shape. So let's do that. All right, so that mechanism should work, but to make sure, let's make a quick cardboard prototype using the laser cutter. All right, that prototype looks pretty good. And as you can see, the mechanism actually works quite well too. So what we've done here is we actually 3D printed some rails of the actual part that we're going to be ordering for the final design. And the way the actual mechanism works is we've got these slots. And as you can see, when the shield extends a little bit, only the tip moves. But once it moves about an inch, it hits the curve, which then forces the wings out. This captures the design element that's shown in the trailer, how the front spike comes out at first and then the wings open, and I think that's really cool. Now all we need is a way to power this, and to make it look a bit more like the real shield. So let's go back to CAD. So again, I'm going to be using the reference images from the trailer to help me design the actual aesthetics to try and make it as accurate as possible to the movie. Now that, that looks pretty good. But before we build it, let's see what it would actually look like on my arm. Come with me. I've always loved in the Iron Man movies how they show Tony Stark doing his designs with holograms in real life. So we've actually been upgrading our augmented and virtual reality capabilities here at Hacksmith Industries. But enough talking about it, let's show you. Jarvis, activate shield. Importing preferences and <laughs> calibrating virtual environment. Pretty cool, eh? Let's see if we can open it too. Actually, can we get some sound effects too? Sir, there are still terabytes of calculations needed. <laughs> now, what would be a good way to test the shield? What if some bad guys broke into my shop? I feel like we're going off script. So what do you guys think? Should we make it? I think the design is just about ready to go. Just kidding, the laser cutter is already cutting it.
You know, this would be a lot easier if you didn't steal my f***ing shield, Tony. It's really hard to make your own. Sometimes you gotta run before you can walk. And for gosh sake, watch your language. So I'm pretty happy with the design now, which means it's time to make it out of metal. Now when I started this project, we had no way of actually manufacturing the shield in-house. So we actually had to get the parts laser cut by a local machine shop. But halfway through, we got a new piece of equipment delivered. It's a Maverick CNC plasma cutter that we got from Elite Metal Tools. Elite Metal Tools provides all kinds of industrial machinery and helped us find the perfect plasma table for our needs. If you need help choosing the industrial machine to make something great, head on over to EMT. Now that we have this machine, let's cut out the next set of Captain America shields. So we had a slight issue while welding the top piece of Captain America's shield. We kind of forgot it warps if you do a whole lot of welding. So we needed to try and straighten this out somehow. And what's the point of making a project if you're not going to use it? So I've actually got Thor's hammer here, which weighs about 75 pounds. And we're gonna see if maybe we can straighten out the shield. Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be Better? worthy, shall possess the power of uh, In the back. Eh, still a bit curved. Very scientific. That's pretty good. All right, we've got all the pieces welded for the most part. Now we can actually assemble the mechanism and see if it works. I should really make a third hand. But like, maybe like Winter Soldier, but I just have an extra arm off of my ribcage. Cool! Now that'd be weird. So okay, we're putting 800 psi through it. Therefore, it's what? It's just a, it's a whole bunch more pressure. Is it allowed to do that? Yeah, uh, it hasn't exploded yet. Oh, it looks quick. Heaven. 
this is the part I haven't quite thought for yet. <laughs> Sunday night, but our first prototype works. All right, so when we first assembled it, it wasn't sliding too well, um, but we've made some adjustments to the rails and we've lubed the whole thing. And now, well, you'll see. Not bad. All right, so how's it actually actuating? Well, what we're doing is we're actually using a 16 gram CO2 cartridge as the uh, air source for the project. And it runs through a check valve. And what a check valve means is pressure can only flow through the check valve in this direction. So when you build up pressure in here, it doesn't try and escape back over here. When you press the button, it goes into the extended position. Then we have a 4-2 valve over here, which basically changes the direction of the air flowing through the pneumatic cylinder, which is mounted under here. So if we press, press this button down and then trigger it, it retracts. If you press it without pushing it, it extends. And it fits nicely right inside the handle. All right, so now that we know that the mechanism works well, let's finish up with a few of the detail pieces. We've got a few more pieces right here that we're actually gonna weld onto this, and then we paint it, and it should look just like the one in the movie. Let's get started. All right, so the first prototype's done, and I think it works pretty good. <laughs> Anyways, we've made a few design changes for the final version, and we're actually making two more shields for our ultimate test video, which is coming out really soon. Make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on. But right now, let's give you a sneak peek of the kind of destruction we're gonna do with this thing. All right, for this test, I'm going to need some safety glasses. Okay. All right, how about old versus new? All right, that was just a little taste of the destruction we're going to be doing with these shields. I know you guys are gonna to wanna to see me go ham with these things, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. This shield test is gonna be awesome. Plus, I even got a licensed Captain America costume for it. 
Special thanks to Killer Body for hooking me up with this awesome costume. Let us know in the comments below what you want to see me smash with his shields. And don't forget to check out Infinity War to see how this project stacks up to the real thing. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Like, do I want to bring the arm up like after you've thrown it? Or like I want to be in a position. Like it would look cooler if it's like you've thrown it and I'm like, ah. But I don't know. It's heavy.